For a long time I've been wanting to change the cathodyne phase inverter of the Giloso into a long tailed pair and uh, especially for the EL84 it might be a, a good improvement. I've taken some inspiration from the, uh, this is the Fender Blues Junior or Blues Pro, I don't know. There's no indication. Anyway, it's got the basic uh, LTP, long tail pair. And uh, I've taken some cues for the values of uh, resistors and capacitors from this. I've also drawn out uh, a layout for the components uh, with the space that is available now that I've removed the components that were a part of the original phase inverter. Um, here is the board cleared of the components that were part of the original phase inverter. It uh, clears up some space. Most of the new uh, components are mounted on the tag board and ready for soldering up. Uh, just one uh, 33K resistor has to be put in and I have to attach the wires before I close the solder joints. Well, the long tailed pair uh, phase inverter is in place. I removed much of the old components. I also disconnected the negative feedback loop, the variable negative feedback loop for now, and the master volume. And it's time to fire it up, see what kind of sparks we get.
conclusion I drew up the current setup for this amp because so much has been changed uh, to reflect somewhat of the circuit that's in the amp now so to quickly run through the circuit now uh, we have an input grid resistor of 68k one meg to ground going to the first tube which is biased with 2k2 and uh, uh, 680 nanofarads which are the values from the Carmen Guia. 100k plate resistor, coupling cap 22 nano. Then we have this EQ network that uses one pot as a tone pot, also from the Carmen Guia, with a volume leading into the next stage. So this we could, we could call it like uh, pre-EQ gain. And then the next stage will be post-EQ gain. I'm not entirely happy with the sound of the amp when it's distorting and I don't know what is to blame I'm also facing some shortcomings of this tone control in one knob I do want to have some control over the mids but still here are the values I took from the Fender Pro Junior schematic the long tailed, fa long -tailed pair face inverter um, because it also uses EL84s as output tubes What's still missing from this schematic is uh, the feedback loop 100k leading back into the cathodine, uh, into the LTP. I also equalized these uh, grid resistors on the output tubes to 22k and uh, 
the bias setup is still the way, uh, it's the only thing that's still original Geloso style. There is a special selenium rectifier giving a negative voltage and uh, also feeding two of the preamp tubes, sorry, one preamp tube, two sides of one triode of this first stage. And that makes, because it's fed DC for the filaments instead of AC, it's very quiet. But uh, it doesn't it doesn't only uh, supply this negative DC for the filaments. It also provides the bias for the output tubes. So originally we had like a 10k here and a 15k resistor there. I replaced it with a 2k2 and a 25k pot. This bias is going into the grids of the output tubes here through these 150k resistors. But uh, it's very nice sounding, too much, but a little too much treble in uh, my opinion, especially with single coils. So I might still have to do some changes. So the bias setup is uh, taken exactly the way it was in the original Geloso schematic. But uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe uh, and uh, see you next time.